Hey everyone, we're here today with Timri. Hi Tim, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. How is the season going for you here at Fulham this year? Yeah, it's been good. Um, you know, we we started out kind of slow, but uh, you know, the, the last, you know, I guess since December, we've, we've really, uh, really turned things around. You know, 21 have beaten now. And, uh, you know, as a team, we're, we're playing really well. And, and personally, I, you know, I'm contributing and, and starting games, and I'm, I'm happy about that. How far are Fulham from reaching the promotions and to the Premier League? We're right there. Um, I think it's going to go down to the to the last game. Uh, obviously, obviously, we have Birmingham and uh, you know Cardiff or have Reading, so I think it's it's going to come down to that very last uh, the last three points. What kind of a manager is uh, Jukanovic? He's um he's he's a tactical manager. You know he um, he likes to to work on on things that that we can control. Uh, you know we. He likes the, the possession style of uh, football and, um, you know, we, we, we like to, to dominate teams and, and keep the ball as much as possible and, um, you know, he, he focuses solely on, on what we can do um, and, and how, we can, how we can cause problems and, um, you know, I think it's, it's nice to have a manager that, that's worried about our, our abilities and, and what we're going to do and, and not what, uh, you know, change, change styles and, and tactics based on who we're playing. What is his winning mentality, his formula? I don't know that there is a formula. It's just, you know, taking it one game at a time. Um, you know, he's, he, we, you know, we analyze games that, that we played, but at the same time, you know, once, once games are finished, it's, it's kind of, you know, put that, put that past us and, and we then focus on, on the next, uh, next game. You know, he's, he doesn't want to get too far ahead. And, and focus on what could be. Um, he, you know, he likes to control what what we can control, and, and that's, you know, working working hard on the, the training ground, and um, you know, taking that into into each match. With over 100 games for Bolton, what made you change to join Fulham? Um, that's a great question. Um, I, it was just a time for a change, just like it was time to you know leave New York when I was there and. and Move over here. Um, you know, I, I loved my time in at Bolton. I loved uh, you know playing there and um, you know being voted Player of the Season two years in a row. Um, but for me, it was um, it was time for a new challenge, and uh, you know I was I was ready to 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 play in a different system and, and play in a different style, and, and that's what uh, made my decision to come down here. How much is USA missing from? Not competing the World Cup this year in Russia. Yeah, it's tough. Um, it's um, it's been upsetting. Uh, you know, it's been it's been hard to, to see all these teams preparing for the World Cup and, and getting ready to, to to play in the biggest you know tournament in in the world um, in in any sport. And you know, for the, the U.S. team not to be in it is um, you know is 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 hard to hard to take and it's hard to be a part of a, you know the team that, that missed out on that. Is this the best of Team Rim so far? Yeah, I think so. I think this is, um, you know, probably this year has probably been my best um, overall performance, um, most consistent. I've always always prided myself on consistency, but um, I think this year has is, is probably been the best football that I've, that I've played in my, my career. Are you thinking ahead of the time when soon probably you retire in a few years and what the next steps will be? No, not at all. Um, you know, I uh, I think I still have a, a lot of years left. Um, I think as if I had one or two years left, maybe I'd start start thinking about what what the future holds. But um, you know, I'm I'm fit, I'm healthy, I'm in, enjoying the moment and enjoying playing every week. Um, sometimes two and three times a week so uh yeah i mean i'm i'm not not thinking into the future and, and you know thinking about retirement yet I'm only 30 years old so like i said i got plenty more years left would you like to remain in the football after your career as a player um that's a that's a tough question i think i think i would at some point but i think it, it'll be nice to to step away uh, you know, once it's all said and done, and, and you know, get away from the game for for a little bit, um, because you know you 
I said, you play so many games and there's so much pressure. And, um, you know, it's, it's one of those things that you almost need to, to unwind, um, just like you do in, when the season's finished, you know. And, and I think after a, a long career, you, you definitely need to take some time and, and figure out what, what you really want to do. But, yeah, I mean, I don't see why, why I wouldn't uh, step back into football at some point. The 17-year-old uh, wonder kid, Ryan Sissignon, is in the newspapers everywhere. Would you give him some tips of maybe joining a, another team into the next season? Or is full on the right place for him still to develop? Um, yeah, I think, honestly, I think it, Fulham is probably still the, the right place to, to develop. Um, I know he's won loads of awards and you know he's he scored so many goals this year and, and contributed on both sides of the both sides of the ball but um, I, think, I think another another season here would would probably benefit him even more so um, and, and then he could he could go on and, and step right into a bigger club and, and a bigger team but I think it, it still might be just a little bit too early to, to go to one of these big teams and, and expect to, to be playing every week.